Ladies and gentlemen, this is fight to get knocked out. It was going down. It went down. UFC 307, the victor, the winner by knockout Alex Pereira. Went out there and took his time and went out there and um, um, turned into the demonic predator. <laughs> turned into the Brazilian demonic predator was Alex Bre Pereira. Hey, I, I'm rocking with it, ladies and gentlemen. What knees, you can see the picture. Look at the knee was vicious right on the right cheekbone. Look at the left hand behind the head like this is where it's supposed to be. Referee over there looking like, ooh, y'all keeping it clean, but goddamn, he getting his ass beat. That's why his eyes so big. UFC 307, Salt Lake City. Got into the UFC 2021. Going on his fourth year, the fourth anniversary of everybody getting their ass beat. Tooking down, beat down, dis destructive Lee. That's all what he represents. Alex Forever went out there and put the beats on Khalil Roundtree Jr., but was still fighting like a true champion was Khalil Roundtree Jr. Over there in between shots, getting hit with big shots and coming right back at Alex to land his big shots. But eventually, the heavy-handed Brazilian landed that straight right hand. Got him caught going back. Oh, goddamn, I felt that one. Let me shield up back up against the cage. Another hand around the guard and then split the guard. What's the uppercut? Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. What the hell I'm supposed to do with my life now? It's going to be hell to tell the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, representing the 78th Hunger Games, your victor. The odds were in his favor. Alex Pereira showed destruction, showed in his arsenal that anything in your armor defense, I got bullet piercing blows that'll pierce through your defense and hit you right where the shot need to be. Mess up your senses. Whole body can't communicate with itself because the goddamn foundation, I made it into the kill switch room. And that's exactly the switch I turned off. I found the switch, turned it off. Don't hate me because I'm a boss. Right hands landed flush. UFC, I am the boss. Light heavyweight division. Alex Pereira, it's about that. What you talking? Get your right and get your in. Beat your ass quick, faster than I hurry. No sin. Hey, he's saying this is the Lord's work. The Lord told me to go put the beats on you. The Lord told me to be fruitful and multiply with the left and the right hand landed on the next man. Don't forget the uppercut. That's the Holy Ghost. That's basically what he's talking about in Portuguese. Ladies and gentlemen, Dana White, you doing your thought? And don't forget, speaking of Dana White, this Tuesday, week nine, and if y'all subscribe to the channel, y'all know I've been covering Dana White's Contender Series since week two. I missed the first week. I was busy. God damn it. Don't get mad at me. I'm living a regular life. And I was busy the first time, the first week, but then week two, I've been here. So Dana White Contender Series. And if y'all don't believe me, check the channel. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been talking too long. I need to start drinking liquid. But yeah, check the channel, goddammit. Losing my voice in real time. If y'all want to rock with me the long way, Tuesday, Dana White Contender Series continues. Week number nine. We sending out them contracts, but be careful. Hey, remember that? Oh, damn, before I leave. Damn, what's his name? Ghost Rider. Remember that movie Ghost Rider with um, Nicolas Cage? And when he was young, when his daddy had cancer for smoking cigarettes, and um, what the devil tell him? Your dad would be perfectly fine. And then he looked at the contract, didn't have a pen to sign, but it looked like it was razors at the tip of the contract, slid his thumb like a paper clip, and then blood trickled down, and a drop of blood landed on the contract. And the man looked at him and said, that'd do just nice. Ah. 
So be careful what you sign, goddammit, the contract to who you make it do what it do. But your winner, your victor, Alex Pereira. Went out there and destroyed that man. Had him leaking out blood just all type of everywhere. Had it looking like um, I, that's where I wasn't supposed to be. But I was watching it on the tube. So goddammit, that's where I'll be. Alex Pereira put the beats on Khalil Roundtree. Who? What y'all thoughts on the fight? That shit was crazy, wasn't it? Let me know in the comment section. Have a good one.